Hey guys, it's Chris, and we're going to repair my Amiga 2000 keyboard today. So I started by flipping this over and removing this plate, which is a bunch of these little tiny screws. They're just Phillips. There's two end screws um, and a grounding plate and the cord. Uh, so you just remove those. I'm not going to tell you how to take screws out. I noticed that there was a slight bend right here. I don't know what it's from. So I'm going to try and get this flat again. I want to remove this membrane because I know there's something underneath it. This is the key uh, board with the depression uh, couplings in there. There's the, all the contacts you can see. And on the other side of these key caps, this is the space bar, there's the contact for it. They're just rubber pads. On the other side of this there are like springs and um, these little silicone cups that you can probably see underneath of these keypads, especially right here underneath the Amiga key. And that is basically your return spring. I wish it actually had springs, but alas, it does not. So, I'm going to use 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip. So I got some Q-tips, and we're just going to do a dip. I'm going to take the cap off and give it a dip. And I'm actually going to go over each one of these little pads and give them a good scrubbing. They look like they're carbon. So I'm going to fast forward through this. You're going to see my hand moving very fast. Okay, so there's the membrane clean uh, decently. Several of these were not working anymore. And you can see there's just a bunch of little resistors on the other side. The board itself is like a fiber material. And while it looks, you know, clean, it's, a, it's got a couple spots of goop on there when you actually get it wet with alcohol. Now this side really doesn't matter. There's some crusties here and there, but nothing looks bad. The metal plate has some crust, you know, through here, the, the other side uh, where the keyboard controller sits. This is the bottom, so it actually sits like this. So I'm going to take a paper towel and alcohol and wipe this out. Now for reassembly, this goes in here, like so. The keyboard itself goes over it. There's pegs on the corners. But I want to clean, especially on my enter key. I just want to touch that with a little bit of alcohol just to uh, get any crusty crap out my C the function keys are very clean because I don't think anyone's ever used their function keys with the Amiga so if you have uh, a dead key you can always remove one of the function keys because we don't use those I mean toaster uses them they're all the same thing. You could pop these out, remove the spring, and it pops out from the bottom, and you can swap one out. So I'm actually going to do that. So this enter key here has a double pole uh, metal piece. So I'm actually going to remove my shift key, which also has a similar one. And I'm going to... pop this out here's what I'm talking about this is the spring it's a little silicon disc there are two tabs in here here is your piece now this is my well, it's a rubber carbon piece 
this is my right shift key, which is still functional. But I need to get the return key out, and it gives me a little bit more leverage in here to pop this out without damaging it because it is a double hinged key. See this? So I'm going to remove this one. I'm actually going to take this one out because I know this one is giving me problems and it might not and I'm just going to take F10 because I've never used F10 in my life and I'm going to use F10 which looks brand new and put that in my return slot they can only go in one way well they can go in two ways but it would still be the same direction and I will then put this piece back on and then you can put this piece in and give it a snap and now my enter key should work fine P was another problem for me so I'm gonna put the shift key back in here I'm actually gonna put the keycap on first this was my old uh, F10 so we'll go ahead and put that one my old return we'll put that one back in and we'll put the silicone on and then return the key and that is now functioning so I'm also going to remove F9 and you can just grab these and pull and I'm going to take F9's and replace P which decided it was going to be not so nice and we were going to put the P back up we're going to drop P put P back on and put this in its place and now P has been replaced so now I will replace F9 And these are just swaps, so I think all of my other keys were working. This says frame A2000 made uh, July 11th, 1989. There's a little punch depressions on here. So I bought my Amiga Christmas 19. 91 it was made October 91 and this keyboard was apparently made and punched in 89 so they apparently must have been working on the Amiga 2000 for several years prior to uh, its release apparently so now with that done and the keyboard assembly uh, back what I'm going to do before I put the membrane on I want to make sure that this is flat because I don't want it to be bent and putting any undue pressure on the various keys. There we go. That's good. Okay, so with that, we're going to put the key membrane back in facing upwards. We are then going to, there is a ground screw I left in here for the keyboard, which I need to remove. Oh, it lays flat. Lay this back in its spot. And it has little plastic tabs that go into holes. Then flip it over, and you're going to have to lay it on itself so it'll hold. And reinstall all of these little Phillips screws. Now I'm going to start in the center and work my way out. Now these are not to be tight. You can tell they're they're coarse thread screws so they only have about three turns. So you can watch as I fast forward this entire reassembly of screws.
and uh, we're going to test it out. Final copy two because it has a nicer interface and uh, we'll choose a font size, whoa, uh, we'll do 18 just for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, minus, plus, slash, backslash, uh, enter, return, uh, tab, Q W E R T Y U I O. Now my problem child was P. P. Easy. Bracket. Bracket. Enter. A S D F G H J K L. Semicolon. Enter. Z X C V B N M. Comma. Period slash uh, shift shift works I'm just slapping some keys uh, Amiga Q yes no Amiga save yes Amiga quit okay so there we go uh, DF1 pooped out on me there we go I bumped the power cord on it apparently too tight so with that the keyboard is repaired I am back in action and it has been cleaned with some Q-tips and I hope this helps you guys uh, you know with with your keycaps if you run into problems with keys and you clean your board and you're having some weird like one or two keys aren't working swap them out with the function keys like I did we rarely use our function keys and we rarely use the upper number pads or the delete or help uh, delete I do use but help uh, I don't think I've ever actually pressed the key in anything so you could use that one too and uh, you know taking take your pick if you know if you don't use the tilde or the left shift I mean it's, it's, it's your preference but at least you have 10 options at least in function keys to swap out and get your your key contacts back but most of the time a good cleaning will make this work like new again thanks for watching